everyone so bit of a different video today wasn't expecting to do this video but here we are so guys um where do i start today is currently monday the 19th of august so last thursday on the 15th of august it was results day and this is what happened look at me right now i wasn't gonna vlog this but i feel like i should because my dog because this is huge so today guys is the 15th of august today is results day I got my results this morning and like i didn't do as good as i thought i would do but i had an unconditional obviously for the uni that i was planning to go to which was the university of suffolk which is in ipswich which is only like half an hour away from me anyway so the reason i chose that is because one it's an unconditional offer i need to slow down <laughs> One, it's an unconditional offer, which means I didn't have to have the grades to get in, basically, because I didn't think I'd do very well on my A-levels anyway. I was texting me. So, I, basically, I didn't think I'd get the grades to get anywhere anyway, because I had, like, three months where I didn't really go to college, and I was doing all my work at home because of my anxiety. But I got over my anxiety, and after this weekend at Summer in the City... So, I've been really thinking about Brighton University because it is where I've wanted to go for like four years, like honestly the longest time. I've got a video on this channel where I went with two of my friends to Brighton and we literally were sat on the beach and we literally said like, we'll see you Brighton in four years time, like I literally said that. Basically guys, I've made the decision that I really want to go to Brighton University even though I've booked my room at the University of Suffolk. I've enrolled on my course, so I mean this isn't definite because obviously I need to cancel everything. <sighs> but basically guys, I just rung up the University of Brighton and I've just got an offer through their clearing and I can't believe it. I've been moving to Brighton in a few weeks guys. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing but I'm like happy but I'm, like scared and like I can't believe this guys look, look at my eyes I don't know what I'm doing so guys I'm gonna talk to my sister because I've already talked to my mum and my dad on the phone because they've gone to work I'm gonna speak to my sister I'll get back to you guys when I know what's happening because I feel sick right now <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing guys. I have recovered a little bit now as we can see although I haven't actually wiped the makeup off my face so you know I'll just deal with that. So I'm currently looking up accommodation at Brighton Uni which is just mental. I actually can't believe I'm doing this guys. I think I am going to go with Brighton just because it has always been a dream of mine like it's always been in my heart and I've thought about this so many times where I've freaked out and been like oh my god like I should be going to Brighton I shouldn't be going to University of Suffolk because like I've just always said Brighton, I'm literally just going to Suffolk because it's the safe option and I know that. My heart is telling me to go with Brighton so I think I need to go with Brighton but at the same time like my head is just like what if, what if, what if and I'm just like ugh. It just, I... I'm... Could you imagine me living in Brighton in a few weeks? I was literally saying to everyone literally the other day like oh, I'm so glad I've got a, a, what's it called? Unconditional offer because I've got everything sorted and nobody else has. I'd hate to be in everybody else's position where I've literally got to book my accommodation last minute and all this. And now I'm in that position. But I could be going to Brighton in a few weeks which blows my mind. What the actual hell? I have no words. I'm also looking at the ones with on sweets because I don't know if I could deal with that. Also, I'm really hoping that these got three quarter beds because now I've gone and bought a three quarter bed mattress cover. I mean, I haven't actually got it out of the packaging, so I could still send it back to Amazon, but could you imagine? This is like, I don't even know what I'm doing right now, guys. I believe this. I wasn't even expecting to be filming this video right now. But I am. <laughs> I literally, I could be moving into Brighton. I could be moving into Brighton in a few weeks. 
oh my god guys i'm not okay but i was literally thinking this morning like could you imagine how excited i would be if i was going to brighton uni I'm not excited about going to Ipswich, like that's literally like half an hour away, I've been there many times before, there's nothing there, it's dead, there's like one club, like two bars, and it's just dodgy, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing guys, I don't know what I'm doing, okay, goodbye, <laughs> I just really disturbed my dog, oh my good lord guys, can you believe this, I don't even lie, freaking out, Still got mascara down my face. Do I care? No. So, look at me. I look pale. This girl could be going to Brighton. You. Guys, if you've been watching my channel for like forever, you will know I've wanted to move to Brighton for the longest time. I uploaded a Brighton vlog literally like four years ago. I was with Lucy and Courtney. We went for my birthday because that's literally the only place I wanted to go. I literally said to the camera, like, bye Brighton, I'll see you in four years time. I'll insert that footage if you haven't already seen it because I, oh, I can't breathe. Ah. Brighton, guys, this is my it's future home. Big, I don't even care. Now. We're gonna live here when we're older. Oh, Look how guys. cute it is. I'm so excited. We wanna live here oh. when we're older. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna live here when you're older too. Yeah. We're planning our next trip. Yeah, what well, we said about going when we leave, when we leave school. Yeah, we're gonna go when we leave school because this is where we want to like go to like not university. It's like a makeup academy. We want to go here and we want to live here. So yeah, yeah. we've even looked at flats. Yeah, flats. We've yeah. Even at I'm currently looking at accommodation. I'm literally buzzing. I don't know what to do with myself right now. Not gonna even lie. Right, someone needs to sort me out. I can't deal. <laughs> I'm literally telling everyone, everyone's getting so excited for me. Like, <sighs> hey guys, crying over. I'm so super excited. This is happening. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna accept the offer. It's literally gonna be the best four years of my life. We're gonna have a lit time. Oh my God, guys. So this is proving to be a lot more sp a lot more stressful than anticipated so i'm trying not to stress about it right now um because i need to have a look at it all but long story short so i've just rung up about accommodation um and like there's like a lot of halls and apparently they're all completely gone and basically the only way you can do it is either going on a facebook page and finding other people who are in the same position as you and basically all grouping together to find a place. <laughs> or like something else called like student homes. But like does that mean I'm gonna have to get a house? Like I'm genuinely stressed about this. Like I don't even wanna think about it right now. So we're gonna see what's happening because we'll see what happens, but this is not going well. Like I should have just stuck with Suffolk. Like I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, to be fair, I have still got the accommodation there. So all I'd have to do is accept the offer again, but this is literally, I have never felt so stressed in my whole life. George, I'm coming to live with you, okay? We can't, we're gonna, yeah. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. So, as you can see, we've got no makeup on right now because I've been crying my eyes out for like the whole day. <laughs> multiple reasons, multiple emotions. So we've all basically just been shoved into this Facebook group. There's like, 90 of us already and it keeps going up like every second and it's basically everyone who got through on clearing so obviously it's a little bit more difficult but to be fair like a lot of these houses are a lot cheaper than the halls so oh my god i literally just thought something like we're not gonna have any wi-fi so we're gonna have to buy our own wi-fi like see these are the things that add up that's why I'm getting stressy about it because I'm like, you, yeah, okay, you get the house and then, like, you don't have things like contents insurance which comes with all the halls. You don't get Wi-Fi, you don't get literally any of that. So I'm just, like, stressing because of that reason. And even though I know we'd have to go in houses anyway in, like, second year, but it's just, like, it would just be so much easier if we could just go in halls first year. But I can't, unless I go back to the Ipswich one, which I don't want to do. I want to go to Brighton, so this is what we have to do. Anyway, guys, I have made a long-ass vlog today, and I wasn't even going to be vlogging, but here we are. So, I don't know what's happening. 
don't have a clue in fact. Bye guys. So as you can see guys, I was a bit of a mess <laughs> and I thought I would include those clips even though I'm kind of embarrassed about them but I thought I would include them because obviously that like looking back on that I'm like oh my god like that just shows like how much this means to me so you know cringe all you like but so yeah I thought I would sit down now and just talk to you guys about what is happening because them clips would not make sense really by themselves and a lot has happened since Thursday as well. So guys, I decided Thursday morning, right after I got my results, that I wanted to go to Brighton. And I've been having like little thoughts about this continuously, like, oh my god, I really wish I was going to Brighton, like I'd much rather say, oh I'm going to move to Brighton in a few weeks than be like oh I'm going to Ipswich which is just down the road from me in a few months or in a few weeks even. Brighton has just always been my dream and basically guys Summer in the City pushed me and because I conquered that I came back feeling amazing and I was like I can do anything. So I was like I can do Brighton, I can do it and I know I would regret it if I went to Ipswich and didn't go to Brighton and yeah I didn't want to live with that regret I just know that Brighton's somewhere I've always wanted to be and I kept kind of saying to myself oh it's fine like once I've finished my course at Ipswich which won't be for four years anyway I can move to Brighton when I'm older you know and live there but, I mean that's a little bit unrealistic like I feel like it wouldn't happen then I feel like my biggest opportunity is with uni because obviously I've got the loans to cover it and stuff and I've got something secure there kind of thing like it might be quite difficult for me to get a job in Brighton like I don't know yet I don't know how it is but like basically I have a bigger chance of moving to Brighton doing uni than moving to Brighton after uni and having to find a job and housing and everything like that I don't even know if that makes sense but basically somewhere in the city just pushed me and I just Brighton has always been my dream place it's always been a place I've always said I wanted to live I went like twice for my birthday before like weekends around my birthday because it's just my favourite place. I've got some vlogs on this channel from Brighton. I went with my mum, my dad and my two best friends at the time, Lucy and Courtney. Um, we went to Brighton and I, we all vlogged it because they had a channel back then too and that was about three or four years ago now and I literally do say in that video something about how we're gonna like come back after we finish school and we're gonna live there. Obviously I'm the only one that wanted to fulfill that but it is just it's still like my dream place and I'm like what am I doing like I might as well just go to uni there so yeah basically guys long story short because I'd already accepted everything for University of Suffolk which is in Ipswich I'd booked my room I'd enrolled on my course I'd accepted it on UCAS so when you accept it on UCAS it declines the rest of your offers so yeah it declined the Brighton one obviously so I couldn't accept that which meant that I had to go through clearing so I rung up and yeah they offered me a place and yeah basically that is where the first bit of footage came from like just after then so then I had to cancel everything so I cancelled everything with Ipswich I had to put my room for Ipswich on a tenancy um do you call it I don't know basically I had to try and sell it so I put it through them I was like can you please like put this up for me like know that it's available and they were like yeah so they added me to this list and luckily I got a call back literally Saturday I think um, and somebody else wants my room so I was like that's great so now I don't have to worry about that which was a huge thing to worry about because obviously I didn't want to be paying out for a room that I wasn't going to be staying in obviously that would be awful <laughs> so yeah and obviously if I'm going to Brighton I need accommodation there so I don't want to have to pay for two definitely not because that would be expensive so yeah we got all of that sorted now we're Brighton <laughs> so I'm currently homeless in Brighton well I'm not currently but like I will be at the moment because I've obviously been accepted on the course everything like that then in one of the clips that you would have seen I was talking about accommodation options and I was looking for I'd just like to say our phone never rings so what is this? 
No, okay, it weren't important then, was it? It's important to leave a message. Okay, as I was saying, so I was looking through the hauls and everything like that, and I was like, okay, actually, before I kind of decide which ones I want to be in in that, I'm going to ring them up and see what they've still got available because obviously some might not be available, la da da. Bear in mind there is about 18 different halls across the different campuses because it's kind of dotted everywhere but anyway. So I rung up and they were like, oh we've got no halls available. I was like, sorry? So basically they had no halls available apart from one which is a private hall and it's brand new, it's literally beautiful, it's like by the pavilion so that's quite close to the seafront, it's literally just like the most perfect place and it's brand new, like I said, it's beautiful but it is so expensive and they warned me about that so they said like the other option is you can join this Facebook group where there's basically everybody else who's going through clearing and you can make little groups and basically house share and look for houses which is not ideal for first year especially because obviously you want to kind of be in with everything so yeah not ideal but it's something that I'm obviously going to have to do probably anyway I did apply for the private halls even though as I said they are literally so expensive but I have applied for them and I'm waiting to hear back from them either today or tomorrow although I rung up again today and they were like, oh yeah, it should be sorted within the next week or maybe next week. I was like, what? But I think that guy was just getting like annoyed or something because he just sounded stressed. He was like, see you later, basically. So yeah, and you're meant to hear back within 48 hours. So we'll see what happens there. But I personally don't think I'm going to get them just because they are the only halls left. I feel like everybody wants them. So yeah, that is where we are at guys i am definitely going to brighton which is crazy another reason that kind of makes me want to go more is obviously because george and holly are there in case you don't know who they are they're my youtube friends um they were featured in like my summer in the city video and stuff but yeah basically they live in brighton although holly does go to uni as well so she probably won't be there the majority of the time that i'm there but george will still be there so there'll be some great collabs coming guys and stuff like that but like that is what pushed me even more because I'm like even though I'm gonna be like alone in this big place with lo like loads of people I don't know and I'm quite far away from home now I know that George is just around the corner so I'm like if I need George if I like I'm worried because I don't know because I feel I don't know but obviously it is scary going to a new place where you're with a bunch of people you don't know and you're so far away from home but I know that George is there if I need him basically and that makes me feel a lot more comfortable obviously so that'll be really nice and it will also be really nice because if we go to like winter in the city we're planning to go to it'll be really nice because I can go with George and Holly and I won't have to like try and get myself there which would be very difficult with Birmingham so yeah but yeah it should be good so yeah I'm really really looking forward to it there's gonna be some amazing vlogs on here I can already tell like this is just my dream place, really. So yeah, guys, I'll keep you guys updated with everything, hopefully. There is still a university hall part two coming. I've already got like a bunch of stuff in front of me that I'm waiting to share with you guys, but there's not that much stuff there and I feel like I'm gonna get a few more bits. So I'm not gonna do that just yet, but yeah, it will be coming to you guys soon and yeah basically hopefully I'll get this accommodation if not I'll be doing a house share but I can eat the ice cream van but I'm so excited for this new adventure I hope you guys are excited too because this is crazy like I'm going to the University of Brighton guys oh, and also I am studying I'm doing marketing management with a placement year so it's still a four year course the exact same as Suffolk it's still got a placement year and it's still marketing so yes cannot wait i can't believe i'm going i'm moving to brighton what so yeah guys i hope you did enjoy this video if you did make sure to smash the thumbs up button also make sure to follow my social media which will be on the screen now and subscribe if you haven't already also have some amazing videos planned for you guys coming soon so stay tuned for that we're going to be back on track with normal videos soon not just updates and chatty videos like this so yeah, but this is still extremely exciting for me anyway. Okay yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all very, very soon with a new one. Bye!